everyone. Welcome back to Take Two, your place for occupational therapy information and tips in two minutes. I am Malia Drakes, Director of Opal Kids. We are continuing our series on neurodiversity and today's topic is on assessments. People are often surprised when they call Opal Kids and learn that we do not usually do assessments before starting therapy. We would do a consultation to meet your child and find out your concerns, but an assessment as an initial session is not our standard practice. One reason for this is because it usually takes a few sessions for a child to get comfortable and then they can show their true capability. Another reason is because many of the common OT assessments tend to focus on deficits what a child is not doing yet as compared to their neurotypically developing peers. But you can't compare apples with oranges, and it's not fair to base a neurodivergent child's performance on neurotypical standards. At Opal Kids, our assessments focus on a child's strengths and interests, but we also determine what support they might need in different areas of life. When an assessment is recommended, we use neurodiversity affirming tools and methods and create goals that support your child's differences. These goals will take into account any necessary accommodations and will focus on functional and holistic development without infringing on that child's need to do things or express themselves differently. See you again next time on Take Two. Bye!